Okay, Zara, can you um, explain us why you decided to go into hat design? Um, well, I've collected hats um, since I was a little girl, always been really obsessed. My father was a hairdresser and um, I think everybody assumed I would be a hairdresser. But he always said I was not allowed to and I wasn't interested in it at all. And I was always interested in heads and colour. I think that's where it came from. So I collected hats all the time when I was a kid. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I bought this soft hat uh, from America and I really loved it. And when I got it, I thought, well, I think I can do that. And I think I can do that better. So um, I started making little soft felt hats and uh, just got really frustrated and realised that I, I, what I wanted to do started blocking and making a... a sculptural pieces so um, I signed myself up for a course at uh, London College of Fashion just a short course and that just changed everything it just changed my life completely and um, I've just been making crazy hats ever since uh, mm. What do you think will be your greatest challenge in hat making? What was the hardest to come up to what you have so far? Um, um, well, I'm, I'm constantly frustrated at the moment. I, w I, I would love to do, I'd love to actually go to a, a LCF and do a, a full-time course because there's so much I don't know. And uh, so uh, I think all the time at the moment I have these ideas and I'm trying to work them out. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just that it's gaining the knowledge. I just want, I'm greedy for it and I, I, I want to learn now. I want to have the abilities now, so I suppose that's my biggest. What do you see as your ideal lady wearing your hats? Oh gosh, I want everyone to wear my hats. I don't really see it. Um, I, I make hats for, I hope, everyone. And I, the people, when they find out that I make hats, they're always saying, oh, the people say, oh, hats never suit me. But I just think that's because they haven't found the right hat. I will make them the right hat. So I think every lady and every man is there. You know, so there isn't an ideal man or woman. It's everyone. Um, you use a lot of feathers. Can you explain us why feathers and where they come from? Um, well, uh, my father uh, used to raise pigeons. And we had lots of pigeons when I was a little girl. We also had chickens and ducks and uh, canaries and budgies. So uh, I've always had lots of birds in my life. Um, just adore feathers. I wanted to use feathers in a really... I wanted to use use feathers a lot, but I also wanted to know where the feathers came from. So I actually approached um, um, the Tower of London, and I also approached Leeds Castle, which is just near me, and asked them if they might consider saving feathers for me. And I, I, I explained that I was a... a uh, hat uh, designer and that uh, I wanted to know where the feathers came from and that they were uh, being sourced in a humane way and that the birds weren't being hurt and both of these places actually really loved that idea so they've given me permission and they actually save feathers for me they send them to me and I freeze them and then I clean them and trim them and use them on my hats so that's where I get them from and out of your new collection that is just out, and you just did the photos, which one would be your favourite piece? Uh, I think the one that makes me smile the most is the Bambi hat. It's just a, a moment of madness, I think. <laughs> and uh, uh, but there's there's two hats that I actually did whilst I was doing my course, and I think just uh, because. I discovered so much on the on the short course at LCF, um, and it's the it's the feather hat here. Um, I just adore it. It's it's uh, it is for sale, but I, I kind of would find it hard to sell it because I learned so much from it. And also, there's a little squash crown I made, and it was the first piece that I um, that I actually blocked and then completely sculpted. Uh, it's, it was uh, inspired by my uh, Venus flytrap plant, uh, and it is a squashed crown. I like the idea that it's a, a, a terribly posh lady has put her crown 
down and accidentally sat on it, so it's washed. <laughs> so both of these pieces emotionally mean a lot to me, but definitely Bambi, just yeah. Every time I look at look at it, it just makes me very happy. Ah. And um, all your bags tell a story. Is that important for you that the bags carry kind of a, a feeling with them, a story? Oh, definitely. Yes, I, I think so. Um, I, I, um, I also I, I write as well, so I think storytelling and uh, uh, giving people something, uh, you know, maybe a story about my life or just just a story or a daydream is incredibly important. And I'm inspired by. Um, storytellers and artists, painters, um, so yeah they all do very much so, uh, have stories and they, it is vital to me, um, it's the stories that inspire the hats. Okay, thank you very much.